Well, hello there, friends. You know we got balls, right? You remember when we made the cabbage balls? Well, now we got arancini balls. That's a beautiful rice ball stuffed with a bolognese sauce. <laughs> Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how we make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. Stay tuned, friends. We're making those balls, they're delicious. Okay, friends, well, the most important thing is to cook the rice and to do it correctly. Cook the rice, friends, we're going to use an aboya rice. That's the rice you used to make a risotto. And I made a couple of videos on risotto, and I cooked it completely different way than we're going to cook today. Normally, what you do when you cook a risotto, you braise the rice and you add the stock one cup at a time, one cup at a time, to give opportunity for the starch to come out and create a nice creamy risotto. We are not going to create a creamy risotto this time. We're gonna, the reason why we cook the rice also is because you can cook it fully cooked and it's still gonna be al dente, gonna have a nice bite to it. So what we do, we cook it like we cook normal rice and it's still gonna be a little bit al dente. That's why I like a boyo rice. It's, yeah, it's got a phenomenal texture. So we cook it like we cook a normal rice, but we do not extract all the starch. And when it's cooked, we're gonna put Parmigiano Reggiano on it, right? So we got a little butter. Butter is very important in this case, friends. Butter is always important. You see, I'm going to goop it just a little bit more. Here you go. You kind of, oh, well, what happened to it? It left. It went somewhere. Did you see it? <laughs> I don't know where it went. But <laughs> here you go. So, friends, um, yeah, it's very important because I want the rice to be coated with the butter, and then when it's hot, I'm gonna put a Parmesan or a John on it. So we cook it differently than you almost normally do a risotto, okay? So I'm not making a risotto. I am now coating the rice with the butter, and then I'm gonna cook it. So I have two cups of aboya rice. I'm gonna put a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper, all right? Maybe a little more salt, and then we can always adjust it at the end. We're gonna saute the rice a little bit. We're not doing it like a, a risotto at all. And then, friends, we're gonna put two and a half cup of chicken stock. My mom used to do half chicken, half vegetable. Uh, uh, half um, beef, she used to do half and half. It's up to you, whatever it is you wanna do. We're gonna bring this to boil. As soon as it's boiling, we're gonna put a cover on it. We're gonna turn the heat very, very low, and we're gonna cook it about 15 minutes until it's perfectly cooked. We still want it to be al dente, and when it comes out, we're gonna put the Parmigiano Reggiano when it's still hot, so the, the, the cheese and the potato melt, and then we're gonna cool it. All right, so I'm gonna bring it to boil, I'm gonna put the top on as soon as it's boiling, and then we're gonna let it cook 15 minutes. So we'll be back in a few minutes when the rice is cooked. Okay, friends, 15 minutes goes by, I want you to take a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Uh, just a little bit. Mix it all up. And the rice should be a little al dente still, which is really important, friends. All right, mix it up really good. If you're not sure, put extra cheese. Oh, nobody's gonna mind, right? And I do it now when the cheese is hot, so the cheese has an opportunity to melt. All right, and then we're going to put it all in there. And then we're going to spread it, friends. So you'll have an opportunity to stop cooking, okay, which is really important to stop in cooking right now, and cool. So I'm going to let the steam out first for like 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll put it in the fridge, because in order to make the bowls, we need to have it nice and, uh, and cold. All right, friends? Just wanted to show you the principle. Very simple. Everything I do is simple. All right? So we'll see you when the rice is cold, and we'll make the bowls together. See you in a minute. Okay, friends. Let's put the bowls together. So I got a bolognese in here. You can have, um, you know, I, like to, I love to make it with sausage, but 
you know, a tomato ragu, whatever it is you want. Whatever your favorite sauce is. This is my sausage bolognese. Jack is going to give you a link to it. It's, it's amazing. I got some mozzarella cheese and I got my cooked rice that is now cold. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to make the balls, friends. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to show you two ways to do it. One, if you have this cool little gadget. And two, if you don't have the cool little gadget. And if you don't have the cool little gadget, <laughs> it's pretty simple. You just do it with your hand. Okay. So you put it right there in your hand. Uh, you put a little hole in there, then you take your bolognese, let me do it in, let me do it here. Uh, you put your bolognese in there, you don't put too much, because if you put too much, then um, you're going to have too much. <laughs> Mamma mia. So, you see, like, if you put too much, you're going to have a tough time closing it, that's all. All right? So then you take more of your bolognese. I say, oh, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. See, I tell you not to put too much, and what do I do? I put too much. Oh, you know why I make those mistakes, folks? So then you don't make them. <laughs> That's a good one. Look, 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 look. Just put it on here, friends. Right there, right? And now, they're going to be they're gonna be a little messy. That's why I'm going to show you this gadget that you can buy anywhere online. Okay? And then we make them. And, uh, and the fact... Then, uh, lay by hand, see, and now you're going to have to give it a time now. Give it some time, and then we're going to cool them, right? Right now, they're going to fridge, okay? So, they're not perfect, okay? Now, let's see if we can make a perfect one. Bear with me one quick second. I'm going to wash my hand a little bit, and let's see if we can make a perfect one with a meatball stuffer. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Arancini makers. I don't know what they're called. All right, so look, guys. This is very cool, okay? This gadget, and there's two sides of it. They, 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 my grandmother used to make them in like a pear-looking thing. I like to make them round. Make them however you want it. All right, so we take our rice right there, and your rice should have nice uh, uh, al dente. You should feel the grain of rice. It's not mushy, all right? So it's very important, friends. Let me check my oil to make sure I'm good. Yeah, I'm close to 165, 3, 365 Fahrenheit. And uh, we'll give you the, uh, the measurement in Celsius. Jack is always good at doing this. So make sure you pack it in, okay? Pack it in here, friends, all right? You pack it in, and then you take this little cool... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Mamma mia, what is wrong with me? You put a little bit of oil. See, I keep making mistakes so you don't make them. <laughs> a little bit of oil right there, a little bit of olive oil, and then you put your rice, you go back, and you pack it in. So... That's why sometimes my video are long, is because I have to do things three times, because I always forget something. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, friends? I don't know about you, but I always forget something. Right, you notice? <laughs> For those of you that have been following the shower, say, yeah, yeah, we notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, guys, now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna put the cover on it, right? And then we're gonna take this plunger, and we're gonna push it in as a smooth, as we can. Phew, it's a good thing I worked out this morning. And you see what you got? Look, look. Look how perfect that is, right? Now we're going to take our, our bolognese, a tomato ragu, whatever it is you put in, my friends, whatever you got, right? You put it in there, right? Then you take your, your mozzarella, your provolone, whatever cheese you want to put in here. Put quite a bit in there, friends. You see? Right? And then you take more of the ragu and you top it. Right, top it. No more than topping it now. I say that, and you know, I always do extra. I don't know what it is. It's a thing that I got. I always put extra, right? And then you take your uh, your cool gadget, and then you top it with a rice. Top it. Top it right there with a the rice. Now you got to put a lot at that point, friends. Okay? You got to put it in. And now you will see how cool that is. Uh, uh, we'll put you a link where I bought it. I bought those, uh, you can find them everywhere online for us. On, on Amazon, on uh, everywhere online, you'll find them. All right. And, uh, and all you do, because it's so much easier. And then, you know, I got an idea, friends. I just remember that I'm going to make it for you. I'm going to make a, a stuffed meatballs. And we're going to use that stuffing this thing. Look, look, look. Push it in. Push it in. Right? Let's get rid of everything, so we're out of the way. We can get rid of this, 
out of the way. So we clean and then I'm gonna remove it. All right? You know I don't like mess. I like my cutting board to be nice and clean. So now look guys, now take it. If we have it, this is underneath, this is the end there, right? And then because of the oil, huh, come up perfect, look. You see how perfect that is? See, now look, look. Not so perfect. Perfect. <laughs> you see? It was pretty simple, right, friends? Okay, so now, now we'll put them in the fridge. At least a couple of hours before. And look what you got. <laughs> I already made him. All right, so now, friends, we're going to put the, uh, the, the, the mixture on it. So, my grandmother used to make a mixture with flour and water, and, uh, and, and my mom used to do it with eggs. So, I decided, since I love both of them, may they both rest in peace, um, I decided that I was going to do both of them in one bowl. Makes it easy for everybody. So, I got three tablespoons of flour and a cup, oh, I'm sorry, a, a, a half a cup of milk, Mix it up, and I put three, four eggs in there, the whole eggs. I mix it up pretty good. When you mix the, the milk into the flour, do it slowly, otherwise you're going to have a bunch of lumps. If you have lumps, just beat, beat them out of there. All right? So now what we're going to do, we're going to put the balls in there, just like this. And we lift it up just like this, you see? Now be gentle now. I know they're cold, but you still got to be gentle. And then you do this, you see? You do this right there, like this. And you put them in a, a seasoned break -on. Good, whatever, whatever you want. I use a seasoned panko. I love panko. But put it whatever you want. Put it whatever you want, friends. All right? So you take them like this. See? Right there. This simple. All right? Now, I remember my grandmother would do them twice. Then she would go back in the milk and put them in a, in a, in a bread. I think that's enough to do it once, but that's really up to you, friends. Okay? How many times you put them in there? You want to put them twice? You do them twice. Okay? I do it with a strainer so I keep my hand clean. You see, I like to keep my hands clean. And, and voila, see now, like here, you could go back in the mixture one more time, right? Then that ensures you could go back in the mixture. Look, I'll show you. So my grandmother would be happy. <laughs> see, you do it like this. And you go back, and you, yep, 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 just like this. And put it in here, okay? So, and that's, that'll give you twice the coating. And, uh, and, and, and it's up to you, I'll tell you. You gotta be careful though, then it's nice and neat. We don't want it to be all sloppy looking, eh? All right, so we do one more, and then we're done. See, I do it this way, so it makes it clean. It makes it clean right there. But be gentle, because remember they still, and it's best not to touch them, because otherwise you're gonna make such a mess in your break -on. You know, I always have people say, what do you do with the break -on? What do you do with the break -on? Well, tell you what, if you have room in a freezer, you can, you can save them in the freezer, nothing wrong with it, but you can't put them in, uh, back in a box because uh, they, they're gonna go bad on you. But if you, you know, you can use them for uh, uh, a chicken scallopini milanese, any breading you do, friends, you can use them, all right? Whew, be careful, jump here. All right, so now, next. Let's make sure we got the oil at 365, we do. We're gonna take them and we're gonna put, put three in there. Not too much, right? And we just go in gently, eh? Put them in. Gently, 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 gently. Hey, don't be touching you. Not your business over there. Go over there. There you go, my friends. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna cook them. I'm gonna clean up this. It's gonna take a few minutes to do it. It could take three, four minutes, five minutes. While, while this is happening, I'm gonna clean up everything. So give me a minute. All right, friends. Let's see what we got here. It's looking good. It's looking beautiful. You see, another, I would say another 15, 20 seconds. And then I'm gonna take them, I'm gonna put them on pepper towels. So give me a couple seconds here, friends. It's looking good. So we're gonna take, look, see, they're beautiful. So how brown do you want them? It's really a matter of opinion here, right here, friends. Now, we have a flat side, and it's gonna find itself on a flat side which is cool, so it makes it easy to cut them and everything, you see. So friends, I'm gonna let them cool for a minute, and then I come back, and I'm gonna serve them, and we're gonna cut into it, all right? So give me a few minutes just to let them cool. OK, 
Okay, friends. Now, remember, I want you to use this, okay? Just in case you take them out. And uh, I want you to check the temperature. They may be beautiful golden brown, but it depends how big they are or how cold they were. I want you to go in there and check the temperature. You go in there and you go in and you go in there. And you got to be clo as close to 150 as possible, okay? It's very important. Otherwise, so if they're not, what do you do? You no problem. <laughs> I'm full of no problem today. Put them in the oven, 350. However long it takes to take it. It could take 10 minutes, it could take five minutes, it could take 15 minutes. Check it out the temperature. It's good because you have them in advance. Those are perfect for a dinner party. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at, you're gonna put the tomato coulis right there, friends. And uh, no, it's not a tomato, it's a bell pepper coulis that I made. Bell pepper, Jack is gonna give you the link right over there. Okay, friends, and this is phenomenal. This sauce, I'm telling you, is amazing, okay? So we're gonna take it right there and we're just gonna go in and cut it in half. But if we wanted to take a picture, you wanna serve it, you go like this, friends. Look, look, look how pretty that is. Look at this. Is that gorgeous? This is beautiful. You see, gotta give a basil leaf that has movement. See, like it moves. So it's nice and fresh, not like a, a basil leaf that is like uh, all done, so you gotta choose them. And I think it's elegant. You like it? I think it's elegant. All right, so now, I don't hear you. I'm gonna cut it. <laughs> it's my favorite time. Oh, crispy. You hear? Nice and crispy. Cut in the middle. There you go. And in the middle, we should have a beautiful cut. And if we did it correctly, yeah. Look at this, friends. I hope, which camera, Jack? My good? Here, 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 here is good, you like it? It's good, look how beautiful that is. See, the, the, the sauce is right in the middle, and this is beautiful, my friends. And then I'm gonna eat a little piece of it, not too much, because then I won't be able to talk. And, uh, but I love it with a coolie. Try it with a coolie, friends. Huh? Mm, oh yeah, uh-huh. Mm, oh, 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 oh. oh. Wait until it is not so hot, mm. Remember the thermometer. Mm. Friends, I hope you enjoy making them as much as I enjoy making it for you and eating it. My mom and my grandma would be very proud. May they both rest in peace. Thanks for watching, friends. You guys are the best. Thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to ring the bell. Thanks again for watching. They're delicious. They're delicious. That basil leaf was phenomenal, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Beautiful looking. Ah, oh, this is so good with the bolognese. Like the yeah, this is perfect, isn't it? Be beautiful cut. Oh, mama mia. Make sure the camera's off. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Gotta have it with the sauce. Mmm. Bang. Mm. Okay. Thank goodness I got the match.